The obelisk that surrounded the temple for Ra. 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 Hello, my Pisces. <clears throat> Let me start off by reading something quickly. Water, mutable. Birthdays are coming up. Where are we? We're um, Aries now at the moment, aren't we? No, Aquarius, sorry. Aquarius, fire Aquarians. My moon's fine. Anyway, I believe. I feel like. Pisces are going through this stage of like duality, coming into duality. The intuitive energy of water flows and flows and flows through the changeableness of the mutable quality. There is creativity and psychic insights available. Probably hidden in plain sight, the key phrase, I believe, means that you do believe that the answers are out there and that you, by paying attention as only you can, will find them. In this situation, ask, how can I tap into the compassionate? Heart of the universe, listen and see with your heart. Pisces energy is very aware of the unseen currents in the world, included the emotions of others. This can be overwhelming for Pisces. I know. Um, <clears throat> employ simple energetic protection techniques and avoid destruction, escapism. Yes. All too very familiar with that. Pisces. You're your own worst enemy. But I feel like you're coming into your power. Cycles are changing. Because I, I drew some I drew I drew some tarot cards and this is what we got. We got the world, twenty one, the chariot, seven. Two of Pentacles and Three of Cups. These cards are cool. So the world and the chariot, I feel like there's, there's movement happening. Duality. Duality. Two of Pentacles and Three of Cups. I feel like, you, yeah, you're becoming the master of your own powers, your own destiny, and you're, you're gonna be able to celebrate it soon. Abundance is coming in for you, Pisces. <clears throat> Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This card speaks of dreams and romance of soulmates and poetry. It suggests that there's a new start coming your way. What did I just say? That's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you... You've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help bring the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds is a little wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. This is the last sign of the Zodiac. The new moon in Pisces card can suggest the last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. Dreams can come true. Use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Use this. Through this. Bring these together. Speak. Face your fears. They may be holding you back. This situation is being healed. If you're going through something, that needs to, it's, definitely, it's definitely being healed. You're celebrating three of cups, the chariot, like this, yeah. Um, it's time to surrender to divine. Chant Om Namo Narayani. Om Namo Narayani. It's the vibration. It does something. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. You're good at that, Pisces. Letting people deceive you when you know better. Pisces is the sign of re 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 reveries and mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism and hopeless romantics. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> not even funny. It is the sign of water and the unconscious. Its energy is deep like watery depths. The new moon in Pisces indicates a time to listen to your feelings. 
and allow your emotions to f free reign. Whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than the truth, unless you've been kidding yourself somehow. And only you know if that's the case or not. Okay, Pisces, if you've been kidding yourself, you're only fooling yourself. <clears throat> These three come out together as well. I feel like you could be dealing with a Scorpio. There could be a battle with a Scorpio happening. Or there's change. I feel like someone's left wounded and someone's someone's still yeah. I feel like this is a this could be a battle with someone. And if you're dealing with a Scorpio. I'm dealing with a few, so it definitely resonates with me. Um, <clears throat> I pulled three of the Divine Circus Oracle cards, and we got Tiger Angel. I've never seen these cards before, so I'm going to read all three. Bright Baby. And the Voice of an Angel. And if you didn't notice, they're all fours. So 13, down to a four. 40, down to a four. And Tiger Angel, number four. So four, four, four might resonate with Pisces. You might be seeing four, four, four. Um, 444, yeah, 44. Death is here too. That's four. Might be seeing four, 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 four. Might be seeing 44. Might be seeing 88. Might be seeing 88. Anyway, Tiger Angel number four. These cards are beautiful. The universe needs you. It needs your strength, your guiding hand, your devotion, your goodness, and your protection. There are people, projects, ideas, and hopes that need your encouragement, your optimism, your nurturing. You have helpful healing power in you. Be confident enough to and gentle that your inner power shall uplift and protect many in this world, keeping them safe and inspiring them to trust and love. Wow. Yeah, I love that card. This resonates so much with me right now. We all have moments where we wonder if we are doing such a great job at this game of life. The idea of helping others might appeal. And yet when we have our moments of struggle in our lives, we may question whether or not we're a good candidate, candidate to protect, guide and nurture others. When the desire to create a positive contribution to the world exists in your heart, you must remember that such desire, that such desire was placed there on purpose for your life purpose. The universe knows what you're capable of and believes in you. Even though you don't always realize it, you have the light of an angel and the fierceness of a tiger within you. You are capable of so much more than you realize. Pisces. One of your spiritual gifts is the art of invisible influence. Wow. Yes. Yes. This empowers you to guide others without breaking the spirit of those you lead. You don't need to tell others what to do or how to be. You can simply hold a vision of them in your heart, a vision that sees them being and becoming all they can be. Your, your influence becomes powerful in their lives and others based on you, based on how you choose to live. Even if you don't say a word, your presence assists. Maybe your invisible influence extends to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, or your clients. It might even be a world at large you are helping simply through how you choose to think and be in your life. There is truth in your heart, the truth that knows every being is loved and deserves to feel safe and live their life in freedom and truth. Your adherence to this truth can tame even the most fearful and resistant thoughts within you and people around you. Remembering the ability to have, ability you have to claim the heart of and empower the soul creates a feeling of security within you. Your invisible influence also helps all beings to remember that there is no need for fear and that together we can create a world where all creatures are happy and free. Wow. Fuck, I love that card. I'm reading this one too. A Bright Baby, number 40. That resonates like... Yeah. Okay. 
Simple truths will help you most right now. Complexity is the mind at work, whereas the heart sees with astounding accurate simplicity. Don't worry about the details, the hows and the where's and the why's. Those answers will come in time. For now, all you need to do is get back to the basics of what is true. And for you, that means stepping into the light. When a painful or confusing feeling grips your mind, situations can seem more complicated than they need to be. The Oracle of Bright Baby tells you that the best and brightest way through even the most apparent complex issues is often the simplest. Saying no, stepping back, voicing your truths, having patience, acting when you need to do so, asking for help. Simplicity can assist you in taking steps day after day until the issue has resolved itself. Just as naturally as the night melts into day. To heed the healing truths of Bright Baby, you are asked, even if just for now, to drop the complex adult explanations, justifications, interpretations, and stories. <laughs> wow. What is the simplest version of the story you are dealing with in your life right now? And how can you act on that simplicity with truth, compassion, and authenticity? If you aren't sure you can get to simplicity, then the confusion seems too great. The Oracle brings you confirmation that a blinding flash of clarifying insight is on its way. Make sure you don't dis count the insight as being too obvious or simple often the time the answer you need is right under your nose just waiting to be discovered and also the plane is the nose on your face if you are concerned that something has been spoiled damaged beyond repair then the oracle of bright baby brings you good news it is possible to restore repair and return the purity innocence and original essence to what you feared was damaged innocence is never truly lost it just gets a bit muddied sometimes it needs a cleanup if you feel like you have lost your true self and bright promise of a fresh new opportunity that you regret allowing to pass you by, it's just a matter of clearing out. What has kept you away from the light is still within you. It just needs to be rediscovered. Bright Baby tells you there is always a chance to return to the light, to begin anew. Wow. <clears throat> Voice of an angel. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Here we go. Some of these might be artists, musicians. You have something to say. <clears throat> there is a unique voice within the you that wants to be expressed creatively, creatively in the world, whether it is a conversation you need to have, a truth stated, a song to be sung, or a book to be written. Honor your voice. Actually, that's what I'm doing now. I'm in the middle of writing two books. So, yeah, this reading does resonate. Hope it helps someone out there. Um, it's helping me. Um, something needs to happen naturally is not happening. It is an uncomfortable sensation that can lead to feeling of depression, self-doubt, lack of confidence, and eventually wear away at your self-esteem. Um, sometimes we un unintentionally hold ourselves back from expressing the inspirations, ideas, and imaginations we feel because we are afraid, afraid that we are making it up that we will be judged or fail to deliver a worthy expression of the idea. Maybe we think someone else will do it better anyway, or we simply don't choose to value our inspiration enough to make it a priority in our lives and don't set aside time to devote energy to, to bring it to life. When the Oracle of the Voice of Angel appears, you are being given two pieces of guidance. Firstly, your idea, intuition, and imagination is not off base, but spot on for your own unique life journey. You are tapping into pure inspiration and the divine muse of creativity is blessing you. Wow. If you feel blocked or uncertain about how to direct your creativity, the universe is letting you know you are being sent a muse, the inspiration you need to find your own true voice. Secondly, you are being asked to, tr to have trust. Courage and confidence in yourself, Pisces. Trust in yourself. And follow through in the gift of the idea that has been given to you. This is not a time to keep quiet. Play it safe. Hold yourself back or allow others to step up and speak for you. It is time to speak your truth, to express yourself, to have confidence in your own ideas and inspirations and in your own voice. The Oracle also confirms that time has come or very soon will these... For these ideas to transform into physical reality, they will require action in the physical world, which means we need to do, we need to work towards our dreams. Um, therefore, you will attract opportunities to bring what start, started as a wonderful idea into material reality. If you want to manifest something and have already been working to that end, voice of an angel confirms that this is going to happen. You will... Sing your own soul song in whatever way is true for you. Wow. <clears throat> wow. 
wow, that's fucking, that's crazy. So I've just been working on my website and like, yeah, heaps of things. And <laughs> God. and um, yeah, like I've fuck. I've been sitting on this, I'm sitting on top of a shop for months now, and I haven't done anything, and I'm about to, I'm about to fucking do something, and this just resonates so well. So Pisces, I love you so much. I hope this helps. If you want to start something, fucking do it. If it's not happening for you, it's because you're not getting off your fucking lazy ass and doing something about it. Seriously. Manifesting, guys, is boom, 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 boom. 101. I love you. I love you so much, Pisces. Like, share. I know this is going to help someone. Subscribe. Helps. Get the messages out. Love you. See you in the next one. Have a good weekend, guys. Peace.